We have some breaking news, Zito saying, like big breaking news. The Panthers traded for Stephon Gilmore, sending a 2023 oh, six-round pick to New England. So after it being announced that Stephon Gilmore was released by the Patriots this morning, a quote from Stephon, a quote from Bill Belichick saying that we mutually agreed to part ways. And then now it not being official until 4 p.m. is what everybody said, which still doesn't make any sense to me. I don't know how this works. I don't know how this is anywhere near fair to Stephon Gilmore. I don't know if he had to okay this or not okay this, but it being announced that he's getting cut as a leverage play to get final offers for Stephon Gilmore. I don't know. Listen, he's probably happy. Okay, they'll look back on this as a good thing. But the Carolina Panthers just got an absolute dog. And there are fan bases around the NFL that are mightily pissed, I'd assume, that it only took a six-round pick to get Stephon <laughs> Gilmore today, A.J. Hawk. It, it, the timing is weird, and the fact that he put the statement out and all of that, I, it had to be, right, where they were trying to get, like, a final offer. Hey, if you really want him, like, and you don't want to have to be bidding with other teams – Reach out and let's see what you can offer us. Is that what happened? I don't, I don't. And then allegedly his agent was talking to Mike Berard. Mike Greg B- Berard. No, Mike something. Gr- Mike Berard. Mike, no. There was Mike Girardi. Greg Bedard. Greg, Greg Bedard. Bedard. Yeah, he was in Green Bay. He was a writer in Green Bay. Now he's in New England, right? Uh, according to sure. Greg Bedard, uh, Stefan's agent was telling him, that he, he knows how to work his leverage and that uh, there's no trade, sign with the Packers. That's the latest league thinking after Greg A. Bedard says that this thing isn't over until 4 p.m., which, once again, I don't get. Like, I thought as soon as you cut somebody, you just send a paperwork to the NFL, boom, they're cut. Like, I thought that's how this whole thing worked. This happened with the Raiders, I think. They announced that they were uh, cutting or moving on from Rodney Hudson, I think. And he went to Arizona, maybe? Yep. Mm-hmm. And they said he's, they're released. This whole thing's happened. And then a couple hours later, he was traded to Arizona. So I don't know if this is a new move. We need an agent. We need an agent on quick to tell us, like, just a quick answer. How does that work? Why does it happen? Yeah, because that fucks the player, you know? Yeah, maybe he thought, like, all right, I'm going to have multiple teams. I kind of get to pick and choose maybe where I could go and also get a little bit more money probably. Yeah, not that Steph, by the way, didn't want to go to Carolina. I have no idea if the, there was an could agreement. Could be a lot worse places. That's a good. That's not a bad spot right now. And I think he's from Carolina as yep. well, so I think it's a homecoming type situation. And I know uh, that's why they were allegedly so high on Deshaun. They wanted to be in the game because they have uh, the richest owner in the NFL at $15.6 billion or something. I think I saw him on a list the other day. And also he's trying to build up that fan base and build up the brand and be great obviously with everything going on off the field for Deshaun they backed off of that whole thing I think I'm not 100% sure but bringing Steph back to Carolina I think is a big move Uh, I just hope that this is where the player wanted to go to that just seems like an interesting way to do business and and it's starting to happen here in those last couple times and I don't know. I honestly. Steph must have thought. Steph had to think he was released, right? To put that out. There's no other. Like, hey, this is what we're going to try to do. His we're agent. Try to field offers for you. Yeah, his agent's allegedly saying, nah, he's going to go to the Packers or whatever. And that's if the agent is. If that guy's saying latest league thinking, that guy's saying. And he's also talking to the agent, right? Greg A. Bedard. Now, this is just assuming that Greg A. Bedard has a relationship with Jason Chirot. Yep. Uh, that's his agent continues to be in complete control of the situation the guy knows how to work his leverage so let's assume that he's talking to the agent right the agent's giving him that is quite a put over of that agent by a media source and then latest league thinking no trade sign with packers clock ticking so let's assume maybe the latest league thinking is that but jason chayette Probably had the similar thoughts that he was going to sign with the Packers. Now he's with the Panthers. You know, it's like, who knows? Who what did this cause the Panthers to jump out there and say, hey, we don't want to. Like, the Packers wanted them, and the Panthers said, no, we want them. If, can we give a, Can we give up a six-round pick? Cool. Yeah, let's do it and try to get them. By the way, fuck a six-round pick. Yeah. Wow. I'm with you. I agree. Bill with those six-round picks. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's, I mean you're right. Though. I mean, like, I, you yeah, hit. but you can get it back. You yeah, can exactly. get a six yeah. round you pick. You get three back next, next year. You can get a six-round pick back easy for anything. Now, I don't. Once again, we are not GMs probably for a reason. And I don't have Love enough reasons, patience yeah. to do fantasy football. That's a lot of time. I don't know how everybody does it. But I'm a big, hey, let's get this Lombardi now. What is a future draft pick going to do for me? I don't know. Somebody run the we, – we use so many numbers, right? Stats have taken field goals out of the game basically now. because And some people are trying to take the run out of the game because, guess, pass yards are more – 
than rush yards per mm -hmm. play. So stats are saying you need to stop running the ball, and then there's an entire thing around that. But I just, man, the thought, the player not being able to go, I just, I, I'm very much hung up on this. Like, yeah. very much hung up on the fact. What do you mean? Like, players know, like, you don't, once you sign a contract, like, you don't really have a lot of say in where you go or what happens from there. But then the agent come. they're a part of the announcement of the leverage to get me to go somewhere else. Like, does he know that? Like, could they, it be? It could be an innocent thing, right, where the, the Patriots, just the paperwork wasn't final. Maybe it's a 4 p.m. day, like, when it becomes official, and all of a sudden, like, all right, Steph, Steph, good luck, have fun. We'll see you. Thank you for your time. And then all of a sudden, they, they're getting some calls that they want to trade for. All right. Well, well something happened like this, um, and not at the deadline like this, but with, I'm sorry, you were going to say something? Go ahead. Well, uh, is it possible that Ch Chayut or whatever the agent's name is, like, basically was contacted by Carolina, like, hey, we're going to pay Stephen we'll, or Stefan. We're going to give him his money. But then Bill would have to agree to this, right? So Bill is the one that would have to agree to this as the GM of the team. So then you would assume that Stefan and Bill are, are working together. And if that's the case, good on Bill then, right? I mean, if the Bill is taking into consideration only the teams that Steph will go to or whatever, good on Bill for doing that, I think. And, and stud player, by the way, getting only a six-round pick. Now, I know people will say... Uh, look what happened in the past with certain players. Let's assume that Steph is still a, a baller. If that was in conjunction with, I think that's a good move. And that's good business. That's awesome. But if not, if it is just a last final call for, hey, can we get a final offer here? That's insane. And you would assume that somebody would offer more than a six-round pick, though, I guess. Right, yeah, for this guy? And we're definitely going to find out very soon because he'll agree to an extension or whatever it is that he actually wants with Carolina within you know the next week, I'd assume.